Hello friend, welcome back to Diesel Mercedes YouTube channel. I'm going to make full maintenance service on the automatic transmission 722.6. So if you are interested how I do that, stay with me in this video. Entire process started with ordering original Mercedes-Benz parts. Here you can see the pan gasket. This is the filter we will be replacing. Part of this maintenance service is replacing electric connector. This is the locker for the dipstick tube cover and also original Mercedes-Benz automatic transmission fluid. I am always concerned about safety, so I raced that entire vehicle on that super stable ramps. And since I own this awesome evacuator, I will continue with removing the transmission oil fluid from the pan. You can see it's immediately nicely flowing after only a few pumps. Right, so the fluid is coming out, out of the transmission dipstick tube. And I know from my previous experience that it will remove approximately three quarts of the fluid. Here you can see it started getting air outside and you can see how much I got out of the pan. For now on I plug that pipe and I'm going to get underneath the car. I brought here my oil catching pan. I cleaned as much as possible around this transmission oil pan and I will start removing these six bolts which are holding the pan to the transmission. You will use the tool T30 and here you can see the bolt coming off with that pen holder. And I already can see that somebody over tightened them because the torque for these bolts it's only 8 Newton meters. I'm really wondering how much fluid will be left in that pan after I use that evacuator. Now I have to be holding the pan. This is the last one. All right. All right, baby. Need to switch my hands and lower carefully. Of course, it's dripping. Uh, position that dripping correctly. Yeah. This is big area. That's a quite a lot of fluid. I will show you in a in a second. I will switch the pans here. So, we... so now we can finally see how much fluid was left in the pan, and the evaluation can start. See this? It definitely needs to be cleaned out. This is actually good news. The bad news is it wasn't maintained for a while, but the good news is. This is extremely fine pieces of the clutches and so on and I don't see any large chunks of the steel so this is perfect. The gasket will be replaced with the brand new one so that's definitely garbage. And I will continue with pouring that old oil here in the recycling catching pan. Oh yeah, it's pretty thick because it's the bottom material. Now we can... There is the magnet which is catching the fine particles of the steel, so that needs to be removed, right? And completely cleaned. And here is a quick look on the perfectly clean magnet. Here you can see the detail of that pan. And here are those particles I was talking about, right? So you can see, once again, this is not some catastrophic failure. It just shows it wasn't clean for a while and it's excellent that we are dropping this pan and instead of just flushing it, we will perfectly clean this off. And I have the pan perfectly clean from inside out, so it's ready for the new gas. My next step is to remove the filter, right? 
Oh yeah, it starts pouring right away. I'm making sure the O-ring, which was right here, was removed with it, okay? Installing the new filter is very easy. You make sure here is that O-ring, but look on this pin, little pin right here. There is a little opening right there and needs to go in it. Some people sometimes install it and they don't pay attention to this little detail right there. So I put it there. After installing the new filter, I can start carefully cleaning this area where the pan with the gasket will be seated. There's absolutely no point of wiping off the dripping because that will keep going for hours. Now here comes that perfectly clean oil pan, right? And I will start one of those bolts back. And I have installed all six bolts just using this extension in my hand, right? It's really important to tight it evenly. I will use torque wrench and once again we said it's 8 newton meters for those bolts. So I really went multiple times around and this is second bolt. You heard it, that was cross, now I'm coming here and again let's see, perfectly seated. Let's iron it and so on. You got that picture, right? Here you can see nicely that filter, right? The filter is actually right there, and the fluid was way too dark. So, this transmission definitely needed this service. I'm going to continue this service with replacing that electrical connector. So the first step is release that base ring and there is that tip on the top which I need to turn counterclockwise I'm using this hook. You see that? It's going down and that this is all the way down and I can remove that electrical connector. And we are definitely right to do that because look how it's shiny. There is a definitely oil leak there. So this is absolutely needed right now. To release this connector, electrical connector, I'm using deep 7 millimeter socket. The bolt is right in the middle. It's right there. So again, obviously counterclockwise, right, when you're releasing something. And I will turn it until the bolt is loose. And again, knowing it's a plastic, I will slowly and gently start prying it out, okay? Not in hurry here, I don't want to break it and have it stuck inside. Here you go, you can see it coming out, right? I will try to keep my fingers away. Uh, look, this is actually this is not the old one because we can see the o rings are black. Last time when I remove it on my what was it SLK, there was the old o rings, they were white in color. This is actually uh, the latest design. It is the brand new part, right? And it will only fit there a certain position. And this is what you do. Take this ring, and turn it all the way counterclockwise until it locks here. Now remember, you can see this here, right? This area. So this is giving you guidance how to carefully, really carefully, start inserting this new part inside and I have to feel it. So I will start pushing in this position that connector in. All right and after that 
I will use again that 7 mm bolt to make it seated there. Now that bolt will nicely pull the whole connector inside but you have to be very gentle here. This is we are talking about plastic and you don't want to break anything. My manual doesn't give me torque on this 7 mm bolt so I'm just going gentle. I completely dried and cleaned this electrical connector so I'm ready to insert it inside. All right. This is all the way down and it nicely went there. I can see that base ring starts getting in the groove so I will slowly start moving the ring. And again this needs finesse. Okay, It's not something you will force and break something. Just be gentle with it. And look, this beige part is almost all the way up there but it needs to click. And you just heard it. And this is in perfect position. So the electric connector was just perfectly successfully installed. And normally there is like a steel shield here. This is the heat shield I was talking about with its Torx 30 bolt which is right here. I'm not putting it there right now because I want to make sure I don't have any leaks and this will be in my way. And that means I'm moving up here and I will continue working under the hood. And what I will be doing, I will be filling the transmission through that transmission dipstick tube and I will be using the correct Mercedes-Benz fluid. This is how it comes in one liter, right? And here are the numbers if you are interested uh, to order the same stuff. And these 722.6 transmissions are extremely sensitive to the correct fluid. So you can use this one or if you don't want to pay the money for this, you can uh, Google Mercedes-Benz sheet 236.14 and that basically gives you a list of approved other fluids. And I am carefully and slowly pouring that fluid. Now we remember that evacuator removed uh, for me 3 quarts, which is approximately 3 liters, which are in front of me. But also we don't forget that there was a bunch of oil left in the pan. So I will go ahead and I will put 3 and half quarts and after that I will start uh, making measurements. And the measurements will be taken with the, this tool, right? And that will be when the engine is running. And right now the uh, engine and the transmission fluid are cold. So I will be using the range which is right here for the cold. And I need to get that fluid between these two marks. And that will tell me that actually I can go for a test drive and fully warm up the transmission. And after I will be back from the test drive, it definitely needs to be in that 80 degrees Celsius right here between these two lines. The level of the fluid will be measured and it needs to be right there again with the engine running. And if you are absolutely sure that your level is perfectly adjusted, now it will be time to use this red locking pin. So you will have this on the transmission tube and you will insert that locking pin. I will not do it right away because I just want to keep measuring. And this pin is one time use only because it's holding this cover on the tube. And if you want to remove it, you will break that pin and you have to buy a new one. So my friend, I hope you enjoyed this video and definitely stay tuned, be subscribed, check out the Facebook because I have way more videos about Mercedes-Benz vehicle coming your way soon. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.